We provided masks, we provided face shields, we had hand sanitizer pumps all over the place. You know, if you're willing to take all the precautions that we did, like COVID kind of took over our wedding. Like I was not agonizing over, you know, what food to taste or my cake, what it looked like. I was literally like, so what company is coming to come and spray and disinfect the place before the day of the wedding? You know, we originally had planned on doing it outside, but the hurricane would not let that happen. So we had to move everything inside two days before. So it was pretty stressful just making sure that we had everything in place and we were pretty set on our date, but we knew that we had to be responsible. And thank God, you know, it was very successful. Our hard work, you know, paid off because we haven't had anyone. It's like, I don't know, a couple, two or three weeks since the wedding happened and no, no one has called or reached out and said anything about, you know, testing positive due to our wedding. So God is good. So tell me, you had someone come and spray, you just said, what other precautions are you taking? Uh, oh, we had temperature checks. We actually had people wash their hands at, before they could enter. We uh, obviously encouraged people to get tested before the wedding. Uh, we sent out constant updates, updating people, hey, you know, it's outside. Okay, the hurricane's here, we're gonna have to put it inside. So people had the opportunity to not come if they didn't feel comfortable being there. Uh, we had people walking around encouraging people to put their mask on whenever they took it off because they had to obviously take it off to eat and drink. And, uh, you know, we had to kind of like stay on a couple people about that. But for the most part, uh, a lot of people left right after the ceremony, which was kind of great because that like took that pressure off. Like I was really like for a new bride, it's like crazy to actually be happy that people are leaving. <laughs> it's like less people to worry about keeping a mask on. So I was like, oh great, you're leaving? Bye, okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Who would have thought that would have been like one of the best parts? <laughs> no, like I'm telling you, that's what we, you know, when we look back, that's what we're most grateful for. Like Mike and I, we're good. We knew we were gonna have a good time, but we really wanted to be able to celebrate with all our friends and family. And we talked about having like a smaller wedding and all of those things and postponing it. But honestly, both of our mom have health issues and I didn't really wanna get into next year. I'm not saying they're like, you know, they won't be here, but hopefully they will, but you never know, tomorrow's not promised. Like we wanted what we wanted. And my final decision, or our final decision was, hey, if there's a way we can do it since this is our new life and our new normal, like, I feel like anything that we did this year, we would probably have to do if we had the wedding in 2021 as well. I mean, we literally gave everyone everything else out of the vaccine. And we would have given that to them had we had it. <laughs> we would have offered it. <laughs> that would have been the favor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be the wedding favor, yes. <laughs>